Hey everybody, good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. This is uh, T2 from Boston Paintball, and I know it's been uh, a while since we actually had production bodies in here, but I just realized when I was on my way into work today, I don't think we ever weighed them. <laughs> so I want to show you guys a pretty uh, good comparison with a couple of different bodies here that we have. Um, so kind of as a benchmark, we have a, an original pre-2K um, blank. These were probably destined originally to be uh, original twisters, um, although we are using uh, post-2K bodies, 2K plus bodies for the new ones. Um, I think it's pretty, a pretty good benchmark just to, to get an idea of what these bodies weighed. So we've got a right feed full body um, and a center feed uh, full body. Um, no back blocks or anything, just trying to get a kind of a benchmark with those ones. Also on deck, we have got uh, three different uh, twisters here. So uh, starting in the back and working our way forward, uh, this is the lightest and smallest twister uh, kit we ever made. Um, this is an ultra mini uh, P-block center feed twister. Um, you know it's an ultra because it's missing the bridge up front. Um, our traditional minis had a little bit of meat that were right in this area right here. Um, you know it's an ultra because there's no meat there. We only made a handful of bodies, probably less than 20, um, that, that were missing that cut. Uh, we actually weren't going to sell a lot of those bodies just because structurally we didn't know if it was going to be strong enough, but we ended up selling most of them um, and kind of keeping them in-house. This is the only one we have left. This is actually the only kit that we never sold that we have left in-house as well. So this is the smallest and lightest example um, of a twister. It's a classic 45 milling as well. Uh, it's gorgeous dark blue. It's midnight blue. It's a great-looking gun. So we have that uh, with a P-block and a raw ASA as well as front block with a 45 angled mill. Um, obviously you wouldn't be using this on the gun uh, because it is a mini, but we're just going to put it in there for weight purposes just to kind of give you an idea. Um, next one up is uh, number five prototype. five prototype this is the one that aka was using for uh test fitting and we actually just recently got this one back um it also includes the prototype uh scrapped front blocks that we decided not to use uh as well as a different style mill of the asa you can kind of see if you set them side by side here with the newer style one um that that's much thicker uh cut that follow the, the deeper lines up front that we ended up scrapping and of course you guys have all seen the production body which is this right here this is Final Cut Twister Revision 29. So this is the real deal Holyfield. Um, so I've already got, uh, I've already kind of done the weighing here, but just for <laughs> all intents and purposes, I'm going to kind of throw them up on the scale here so you guys can kind of see what we have going on. So um, we should probably start with the benchmarks. So we'll toss up, uh, shut this up so you can see there's no shenanigans here. Sorry, the scale isn't exactly scientific, but it's a pretty decent, uh, decent scale. So um, we'll toss this up here. So it's uh, 15 ounces, 15.4 ounces is what the stock, stock body is, essentially the blanks that all these start from. So, so that, the right feed is 14.5 ounces. Uh, perhaps we go with the lightest twister we ever made previous to what we have now. Right on the scale there. So it's 6.8 ounces. So it's basically nearly half, less than half of what the, uh, those bodies were <laughs> for this one. Um, again, this is the lightest and smallest uh, body we made previous to our, our new body. So and mind you, this is a mini um, as well. So it's even more meat taken off of it. So here's prototype body, and you can tell it's a prototype from a couple of different things. We obviously changed all the milling up front here, so this, this bridge piece is gone as well. Pretty easier if you see it side by side with them, but there are the two bodies side by side. Obviously, the milling has changed quite a bit, a little bit more aggressive with certain mill lines. They tapered the body to the frame right along this edge, so um, let's see what this guy weighs. 5.6 ounces, the prototype body, which is uh, 
already an ounce and some change lighter than our lightest body just for the prototype and now for the production body 5.5 ounces so it's uh it's about a third of a stock of this body up here it's about a third of the metal left um obviously considerable difference um in weight uh this is obviously the lightest and smallest possibly the lightest and smallest full body um cocker ever made um, in terms of body i don't know the fle is probably pretty close to it i don't know the exact specifications on that um but we've done a lot of work on these to to make them you know obviously to make them uh make them as sleek and as lightweight as possible without sacrificing styling um you're still getting a really nice little package so um i, mean, I did all the components already i don't know if you guys wanted to see i kind of have the numbers here for those as well pardon my handwriting because my handwriting really sucks um but these are basically all the numbers that we uh that we got so you can see even with the the new style components the asa and and all of that it's still lighter than anything else that's out there um it's nearly two ounces lighter than the micro mini with all those components too um just to kind of give you a little side by side we're going to grams for this one because it gets a little so it's 52 grams for the old original front blocks and then our new front block it's the production one it's 30 <laughs> so these two are obviously did a lot of work to make this as small as possible. Come side by side, you can probably get a better idea. So you've got still got the styling and still follows the lines of the gun. Just stunning. Additionally, the front blocks, our newer front blocks, use a standard O ring, a standard tank O ring. Um, on either side so you don't really have to go fishing around and trying to find some weird size o-ring um, to make those fit maybe i'll just show you all of these while we're at it so so from left to right the left one is uh one of the original 45 mil asas partial mil wasn't really 3d or all the way around they kind of cut it at a certain point production one is in the center Obviously, completely unfinished cuts on it, just to kind of get the uh, the feel for it. And this is your production, which is milled around 360 degrees. It's very cool. And I believe that the weight is significantly less. So this is your stock. It's 31. Prototype. 32, production, 29, so <laughs> 28. Uh, I mean, everything that we basically did with this was to make this gun as light as possible. So every revision and all the weighting, we were just kind of playing the, the diet game. You know, we wanted to see how low and small we could get these things. So um, so I hope you guys, uh, I hope that helps a little bit with, with uh, maybe settling some internet arguments that you have with your friends that have different bodies. So I know it's a little long-winded as usual, but... Uh, I, uh, I'm happy to uh, show this to you guys, and um, hopefully we can um, get the rest of these bodies sold and move on to the next thing, okay? So <laughs> we only have about 25 left, so hopefully we put some more orders in. Um, F5s, I uh, should be getting them in today, so I'll be taking pictures and putting them up for you guys to see. So uh, all right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Moo. -bye.